Hi everybody, it's Mark Shellshu. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. Hey, I've had another question about the copying issue and I'm not going to talk about copying today, but I just want to clear it up. Someone said, can you be inspired by other people's works and is that copying? Well, it only is copying if you actually reproduce that work. If you see a work and some color or something has inspired you and you go home and paint in that same color, as long as it's not the same painting, I, I don't see an issue with it. So today, today I'm talking about an exhibition. In galleries, sometimes things never run quite as smoothly as, as you think they do or they should. And uh, sometimes you get cancellations and we had a cancellation for this month and uh, straight away we were had Austin come in and he's bought in a new show. This show knocks your socks off. I am not upset about the cancellation. This is a great show and I'm going to take you around and show it. Now I don't know the titles of these, we haven't put the title cards up yet, but I thought I'd give you guys a special preview of this new show by Austin and also we're going to continue to show uh, Richard Buxani's um, sculptures which you can see in the background. So we're going to walk around and look at this. Now I'm going to go slowly and let you work out what you think of these paintings. This is the first one of Austin's, this is a big painting. Uh, a large piece. I kind of thought it was like the bridge to hell, but uh, you might have your own opinion on that. You might uh, think it's something else. If you look at it, there's so much happening in this painting. So many incredible things, so many faces. We go up and look up a little bit closer. You see many, many, many things in here that um, are disturbing, uh, are interesting, um, uh, very different. I, I love Austin. Austin always brings something that shocks and I like that. Here is another one of Austin's. Uh, see what you think of this. This is the kind of art that I really love. Now I know it's not everybody's art and I know not everybody loves it, but I do. I am so taken by this work. I just see the creativity in it all. The, the mind working at an amazing rate and uh, just contributing more and more. Okay, this is a really large piece. So we'll get back and see if we can get it all in the frame for you so you can see it. This is an interesting piece. This is a triptych and uh, he has a lot going on here. He has a lot going on there that may not be to everybody's taste. I, I get that, um, but it's just an amazing work of art. Just, I don't know, it knocks my socks off. It really does. I, I'm really taken by Austin. I think Austin's a very, very talented young man who's got a, a big future in the art world. And uh, this work really appears to foreigners more so than Filipinos. We have a lot of foreigners who come in and collect Austin already. Uh, he is very popular in the expat brigade. Okay, this is another one. Uh, we had somebody look at this and it says uh, uh, Alice out of Wonderland. It's a, an interesting piece that Austin has done, another large piece. It's two pieces. Uh, make this up. And we have these two, we have two black and whites. One of the male here. One piece, this comes with a sketch that he did, the original working sketch. And we have another one here of the female figure. Again, comes with a working sketch. Great idea, guys, if sometimes you add a little sketch or something, because it really gives the people something extra for their painting. Now, this is a piece, I don't know how to explain this. This is, according to Austin, the worm that never ceases to be, or I don't know, it just, it goes on forever. It's no beginning and no end, this eternal worm. Now, I get that this is not everybody's piece of art. This is a construction, construction piece. I'll take you up and you can have a close look. A construction piece. There. I am so happy. This is a great show. I, I just, uh, I love it. I am not disappointed that we lost the other show. This is a, a great show. This is stunning stuff. It really is. Now, some more. This is another interesting one. This is a, uh, this is, I don't know, this is a, a, a person with a bird's head looking at a girl who's, the thing that, uh, doing some kind of acrobatic, acrobatic work, in all of his paintings there's a cat 
Now, oh, the majority of the paintings, there's a cat. I don't know if that means anything. If uh, we got any uh, amateur psychologists out there want to come up with something, why Austin would have a cat in all his paintings. This one you've seen before. This one's called the Bone Muncher. Not Cruncher, but the Bone Muncher. It's an uh, interesting Austin piece. And this piece here is another new piece. This is called the Swan Dog swan dog uh, a dog that has the head of a swan and uh, kind of strange feet um, I don't know if there's a cat in this one I can't see one at this stage but I'm sure if I go and look hard enough I'll probably find one and of course we still have uh, Richard's wonderful sculpture as you can see pieces like this one here which is um, uh, a stunning piece which is around about two sides two pieces, uh, both sides facing, I think it's called two faces. And you have the other side here as well. Bit difficult to see there. Well friends, this gives you an idea of what I see as an incredible original artwork. This is artwork that Austin has produced that is really quite stunning. And friends, to be honest with you, this is the stuff that I really like. Now, if you ask me to explain why I really like it, I like it because it's just different. I like it because it's not something that I really uh, recognize. It just takes me and takes my breath away a little bit. I don't know why, but I do love it very much. It's an interesting collection of paintings. So we've got a very, very interesting set of paintings for this uh, month. This is the new show by Austin. I haven't actually got a name for it. Uh, it's Austin and Richard Baxani, and um, I think that the sculptures and the paintings tend to really uh, work together well. If you look through the gallery, we'll go right up to the front door. This is what you'd see if you walked in, uh, uh, the kind of the size of the gallery and the paintings that are in it. And remember, this is only the main gallery. We have um, three other galleries plus Kayaman and Asha. So it gives you an idea of the size. Isn't that a magnificent group of paintings? Wow, I am taken back by them. Okay guys, I just thought I'd give you that today rather than me go on about uh, copying or something like that. Hey, remember look, one of the real things that's really important is us as an artist, when we build relationships with our collectors and buyers, is that they learn to trust us. Is that we, and we fulfill our word. Sometimes artists uh, are a little slow in, in fulfilling what they say they will do. Often artists feel that they can get away with things. You know, the truth about life is that you can't get away with anything. People want us to be professional, want us to be professional artists, and we need to be professional in all we do. I hope you love this collection. I hope you love the black cat there. Uh, I think it's going to be a great month, and uh, Austin's work is really Knock your socks off. Okay, guys, you have a fabulous day. I'm going to talk to you again tomorrow. Of course, you remember to reach out, touch people, care for people. Hugs and smiles are free. And who knows, soon I might one day knock on your studio door and come in and talk to you about your art and you can tell me about what you do. I look forward to that in the future. Have a fabulous day, guys. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.